Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, um, I'm actually going to be doing, as you can see by the review, um, title of this video, a review on if it bleeds. So, yeah. I'm really excited to do a review on this. I actually finished this, uh, two or three days ago. I meant to do a video, like, yesterday, before I just didn't get around to doing it, um, so, yeah, and the books I'm reading now are the Percy Jackson books. And once I finish these, I'm going to be ranking them from my bet, from my uh, least favorite to favorite um, in the series. Um, so, then yeah. And then, um, <clears throat> we'll see what I do after that. So, this video is going to be a spoiler alert. So, um, just don't watch, I guess, because... This will be a spoiler. This will be a spoiler alert. So, um, if no one has read this book and is planning on it, then don't watch this video. Um, but yeah. So we're going to be talking about each story in this because it has many different novellas in it. Um, really good ones. Um, this book is really strong. Um, it has really strong writing. Uh, so, yeah, I really enjoy this book. So... Um, so the first story in this book is called Mr. Harrigan's Phone. So, um, you know, when I was reading that, uh, story in here, um, <laughs> I was, like, so confused at first. I was so confused, like, what was happening, but then I got, like, the little gist of the story. I forget the main character's name, but the kid, um, uh, he reads, like, Bible, he reads, like, um, Bibles, um, I believe, uh, for the guy, Mr. Harrigan, um, and then he buys him a phone, Mr. Harrigan, and then, uh, Mr. Harrigan dies, and then the kid gives Mar Mr. Harrigan, he, like, puts, uh, the phone in Mr. Harrigan's, like, suit pocket, um, and then he, like, like, leaves messages in the phone, like, how's his life doing and, and stuff, and when, like, weird things start to happen, like, he gets bullied by this one kid at school and tells Mr. Harrigan about it, um, even though Mr. Harrigan is dead, um, and then, uh, a couple days later, that kid ends up dead, so, yeah, the kid ends up, uh, dead, and that's basically what keeps on, that's basically the whole gist of that book, which I thought was really interesting, a really interesting concept, I really liked that book, it was really good, really good novella, and then the next book in here is called The Life of Chuck, um, The Life of Chuck is pretty, pretty good also, like, in the beginning, it's, um, like, kind of like a disaster thing that's happening, and then it's like, um, thanks for 39 great years, uh, for, from Chuck, basically, because, um, Chuck died at, like, 30, 39, and then the next half of the book is, like, uh, basically Chuck's life, so, yeah, that's basically that whole story, there's nothing really much to tell about it, <laughs> because that, uh, the title already tells you what it's basically about, and then I'm gonna, um, skip from If It Bleeds to, I'm gonna leave If It Bleeds for last, and then go to Rat. So, the story Rat is very interesting. Um, as you can see, there's a rat on the front cover right here. Uh, which is cool. Um, so yeah. In the story Rat, it's about this guy who wants to write this book. Um, so he wants to go to his dad's old cabin. So he goes there, and, um, weird things basically just start happening. Uh, so he goes to this store near him at the cabin, and he shakes this guy's hand, and this guy's, like, really sick, um, like, he's, like, he has, like, the flu or something, and then he goes back home to the cabin after he's bought some food, and, um, he sees this rat, um, and it's, like, it's, like, uh, pawing at the air, and it looks like it was crushed by a tree branch, because there's this really bad storm that's hitting through the area, and... And anyways, he grabs a shovel to put the poor thing, the poor rat, out of its misery, but then, uh, has a change of heart and lets it live. And then the next morning, he sees the rat again on his lap, like, near his laptop where he's been writing his book. Um, 
and and basically the rat like he like is talking to him um and the rat like is like um i'll give you one wish but i give you one wish someone has to die um so he's like debating on it um and basically he's been like having like really tough times like uh writing uh, like finishing the book off um his book that he's been writing um so uh, because, um, he's been feeling a lot, like, really sick and under the weather, um, so he's been, like, writing less and less pages, like, as the days go by, and his, like, wife and crap wants him to come home because of the bad storm, but he refuses and wants to stay there, so he's, like, thinking about it, um, and he, and the rack is, like, an author that, on offer that he will kill this one guy, um, I believe his name is, like, Al, uh, because he's, like, in his 70s and he's fighting like cancer and he says sure he will do it because al is already like dying so he doesn't and um he ends up finishing his book so um so the return was he finish finishes with his book and gets it published and crap and that ends up happening and then al is still alive he ends up fighting cancer and then a few days later Al gets in a serious car crash with his wife, and now the main character is like, what the heck? I did not ask for that. I just wanted Al to die, not his wife. But the rat said, you never said, uh, well, it was never in really the deal to, like, well, the main character says it wasn't in the deal for her to die, but uh, the rat says it wasn't in the deal for her to die, or, like, not to die, so... <laughs> So, yeah, that sto the story is just crazy. Alright, so, the last story is If It Bleeds, um, what this is about. So, it's about this girl, Holly, I remember her, her name, her name's Holly Gibney, because that was the longest story in here, so, I'm gonna remember that. Um, so, yeah, uh, Holly Gibney is basically going after this reporter guy who is basically, like, an outsider. He basically, um, you know, basically... It's about this, um, like, Mac the McCready, uh, middle school, and it blowing up, and then, like, him being, like, the first reporter there, and she's kind of suspicious of that, and on the one frame, he had, like, this weird pimple, I guess, um, or, uh, what, uh, whatever thingy, and, um, and then she, uh, looks at it, another photo, and finds that he doesn't, his name is Chet Ondowski, um, so... So she's very suspicious of this guy, and then over, like, the, basically, course of the story, she's, like, trying to get more information on him just to make sure he's, like, an outsider, like, a guy hiding behind, like, um, hiding behind, like, a different identity, basically, is what this is about, is what that's really about, like, the outsider. I never read that book, but it does have a lot of hints to that, and Bill Hodges, um, like, from the Mr. from Bill Hodges series, like Mr. Mercedes and crap. So I found that really like interesting. Um, and then, uh, oh crap. <laughs> and basically, the climax is really good. I really like the climax when she makes him a deal, like if she, if he brings her three hundred thousand dollars to her hotel, then she won't like release like evidence that he's the one behind the McCready High School um, explode, um, bombing, basically, and he's been behind a lot of other, like, murders, too, um, and then, and what ends up happening is, she, um, basically, she's there waiting for him, um, and then her friends have, like, this tracker on her, so they're, like, tracking her because they're, like, you know, worried about her, so they track her down to the building, they go there, um, to the entrance where she tells the guy to go to, so the guy is there, and he basically takes the girl, her friend, as hostage, and then takes her into the building, and then, long story short, they end up pushing him down an elevator shaft and killing him, um, <laughs> so it's really intense, um, so, so yeah, that's basically what the whole book is about, um, if, uh, has four novellas and they're all really good um i really enjoyed this book this was my first stephen king novel and my first book like that has over 400 pages um and it was my first novel that i've ever read with 400 pages in it um and my longest novel that i have is the institute but this ha I'm, I'm not gonna really count this one because this one well, i'm still gonna count it obviously as like a long book that i've read but like 
uh, since it has all different novellas, I'm gonna um, count really the Institute as my longest book because it will be, um, and that has over 500 pages, and it's just one long consistent story. So, yeah, guys, this was a really good book. Um, I definitely recommend it if you guys like crime and um, sad stuff and horror and all that fun stuff. This book really has it all. It's really fun. It's a mystery, and it keeps you guessing. Um, it was all around really good to read. Um, I definitely recommend this to anyone who's a really big fan of Stephen King and does not have it. Um, so yeah. But yeah, guys, that'll be in the end of this video. Just a little review of this. But yeah, that's the end of the video. And um, like, subscribe, comment. So I have to get comments fixed. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. If you don't, then you won't get um active, active um, you know, you won't get like active notif notif notifies whenever I post the video. Um, so yeah, if you want early uh, release date, well, if you want like, if you want to be notified right when I post, then definitely turn on notifications. But other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video.